What's good YouTube, it's Vex Reaction, I'm back with another reaction video and today we got some controversial stuff. Now, I read the title of this and I seen the content creator who made this and they got quite a following and they seem like they make pretty good videos. So I wanted to check out today's video because I just reacted to Ariana Grande's song and some of like the controversy with her dating and stuff and I'm trying to count, I'm kind of getting caught up. This is all new to me. I'm not gonna, this is all new to me because the Ariana that I knew I knew the Ariana from Victorious, but apparently there's another side to the story. You know, she's been doing stuff while, hey, Ariana Grande's clone steals and releases her music? Lawsuit? What is going on? I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music. It's horrible. You guys, give Ariana Grande a break. You might not like her, but steal her music? That That's crazy. That's crazy too far. A previously unreleased Ariana Grande track magically struck the web and set off a wildfire of speculation and excitement. But this wasn't just any leak. This story takes a wild turn that you won't even see coming and literally fans are still scrambling for answers. From TikTok teases, Spotify surprises, and into the roller coaster of emotions, legal drama, dances that went viral, and that you never saw coming. Ariana's song, Fantasize, took that kind of journey. So oh. the ride that redefines everything you've ever thought about music leaks, the power of fans, and just how far people who adore Ariana Grande will go to defend her. So bro, I'm not gonna lie, your hook is getting me. <laughs> your hook is fire, bro. You know how to explain a story. And just how far people who adore Ariana Grande will go to defend her. You'll also be shocked at how just unpredictable and wild her internet fame is. It all started on June 21st, 2023. Something super Dang. exciting happened on the internet. A song by Ariana Grande that no one had ever heard before started popping up everywhere. This song didn't have a name yet, but because the word fantasize was right at the start, of the catchy part, fans quickly decided that they would start calling it that. Now, a TikTok account that loves Ariana Grande called AR Honeymoon Babes posted a video with this secret song and wrote new unreleased from Ariana under it. You wouldn't believe it, but almost 880,000 people watched this TikTok. Bro, leaked stuff is weird, bro. Like, if it gotta be leaked, that means it wasn't supposed to go out, bro. Like, we gotta start holding the people who leak stuff accountable, bro. Everyone in the comments was talking about how amazing the song was and wondering why Ariana had never released it. Anyways, that very next day, something totally unexpected happened. The person who runs the AR Honeymoon Babes account got a huge surprise. Imagine scrolling through your TikTok and seeing a comment from Ariana Grande herself. That's exactly what went down. Ariana popped into the comments of TikTok that played her leaked song, Fantasize, and dropped some news. Ariana said that she wrote that song for a comedy sketch about a girl group, and it was the demo she made for them. Ariana then requested that people spreading leaks and expressed her disapproval. Even though her comment disappeared later, Ariana's message was loud and clear. Wrote this for a comedy sketch about a girl group. This was a demo I made for them. Please stop spreading the leaks. I appreciate it. But did everyone listen to Ariana and stop sharing the song? Well, bro, first of all, how do people get a hold to leaks? That's my question. I've always wondered that. How do people get a hold to the leaks? She asked nicely to stop spreading the leaks. Hopefully her fans would respect her wishes. And of course, everyone immediately stopped and deleted all the leaks, making sure the unreleased songs were never heard again. Or did they? Hmm. Let's get real. Of course the song didn't just vanish because nah, Ariana facts. asked nicely. Well, their fans for a reason and the excitement was just too much. The person behind the Ari Honeymoon Babes quickly said that it wasn't them who leaked fantasize and promised no more leaks on their end. But as you might guess, not everyone followed that promise. Wait, hold up. I, I will not be posting any more leaks. I am not the leaker. If you would like to report the Discord, DM me and I'll... I will send you the link. I will respect her wishes. Bro, you should have just sent her the Discord. You shouldn't have asked her to DM you and all. You should have just sent her the Discord and, and told her this, bro. And promised no more leaks on their end. But as you might guess, not everyone followed that promise. Before you know it, Fantasize wasn't just an Ariana Grande fan secret anymore. A month after the leak, this tune started popping up all over TikTok, turning into the latest hit sound at the time. And oh! Even people who weren't Ariana fans were jamming to it in their videos. There were all sorts of versions. One version of the song got so popular that it ended up having over half a million views. With Dang! With up views in the tens of millions. Hold up. 
of having over half a million views, with some racking up views in the tens of millions. And then, because TikTok loves a good dance, a viral dance challenge was born. Dang it. Was trying it! If they get a dance on a song, it's over with. Finito! Dunzo! Sharing it and, yup, loving it. I've heard this! This was her? I didn't even know this was her. Hold up, Ariana. Cause I'm not one of these, hold, I'm not even, let's hear the story. <laughs> it's given, it's given 2000s pop. World around fantasize had been the tune everyone couldn't get enough of. It had started climbing up the charts on Shazam because loads of people had heard it on TikTok and had no clue what it was. Shazam! It had still been a secret Ariana song. Over a hundred thousand folks had hit Shazam trying to figure out its name. With the song becoming a massive hit among both Ariana's fans and just about everyone else, people started saying Ariana should officially drop fantasize on all music streaming sites. Some fans said that this could be the biggest thing she has ever done. But but I will say, if she didn't drop it, it was a reason she did not drop it. Y'all think she, y'all think people just don't drop the hits? Y'all don't think somebody told her this was a hit? If she didn't drop it, it's a reason she didn't drop it, bro. Despite its huge online success and everyone saying Ariana should release it, she didn't. But did that stop the fans? Nope. They were not about to let this song just be a memory. Even though Ariana didn't release Fantasize, her fans were ready to make their own magic happen. What? It out of Fantasize era created by the fans themselves. On August 19th, 2023, something super sneaky happened on Spotify. The song popped up called, But Just Before I Go, There's Something You Should Know. Yep, in all caps. Because why not make it stand out? This wasn't just any song. It was the fantasized track that everyone had been talking about going viral and all. But here's the twist. It wasn't Ariana Grande who put it out there. Instead, the song was listed under an artist named Adriana Venti. Bro. The thing is, I know y'all want to do this because y'all want uh, y'all want to be able to allow the fan base to experience this in an easy way. But bro, you're taking away from the artist, bro. And that's who made it, bro. That's who literally put their like, come on, bro. This is not the right move. Unfamiliar because Adriana Venti is a playful twist on Ariana Grande's name, with Adriana being just one letter off from Ariana and Venti being a cheeky nod to Grande. This Adriana Venti Dang. wasn't a real singer, but a fake version of Ariana set up on Spotify. This the song claims to be from. It literally got the picture. I don't know if she edited that on there or what, but it literally got the picture. But a fake version of Ariana set up on Spotify. The song claims to be from. Y Records, which is a little inside joke for fans about how Ariana loves to sing Yeah, especially in hits like God is a Woman. And the cover art was a pic of Ariana Grande, but with a twist. They edited it to feature her rocking her signature high ponytail and showcasing her Ren Beauty lip gloss, making it look like it was supposed to be Adriana Venti. So, oh my god, this sneaky release that how, remained a how's her hair floating? Venti. So, who was behind no this way. sneaky release? That remained a mystery, but it was clear that Fantasize had taken on a life of its own, turning from an unreleased demo into a full-blown Spotify sensation, all thanks to some clever fans and their love for a good inside joke. Right after Fantasize made its mysterious entrance on Spotify under the artist's name Adriana Venti, things started to get really excited. By early September, the song was on fire, pulling in about 300,000 streams every single day. It quickly Dang. passed 1 million streams, and guys, Adriana Venti, our mystery artist, suddenly had over 300,000 people listening to her every month. But here Dang. comes the super cool part. On September 4th, that's not fair. Fantasize did something no other unreleased song has ever done before. It landed on the Spotify 200 daily top charts in the Philippines, all the way at number 200. Thanks. Nah, this is not right over 71,000 streams from there alone. This was huge because it was the first time an unreleased track made it onto any of Spotify's top charts. And the song didn't stop there. From there, Fantasize kept on making waves, charting on several viral Spotify charts against different countries. It was like literally everyone everywhere couldn't get enough of this song, proving that a good tune knows no boundaries, especially Dang, when it's got a story as unique as this one. So on September 1st, 2023, the adventure 
Twitter fantasize took another twist when a Twitter account named Loving Jax decided to join in on the fun. Loving Jax tweeted, sharing a link to the song and urging people to go listen to it. So what? It's more interesting because on the... And the thing is, people don't be like critically thinking in situations like this. They just be like, oh, I like this song. Um, this must be unreleased Ariana, but they don't understand that it's a person who made that. They don't put themselves in their shoes, bro. You got to think about this. If this was you and you made a song and you literally got the phone in the vault on the phone, like, and you wasn't ready to release it for whatever reason, it might be contracts. It might be, cause she said she made this for a group and bro, like, and then your song is going viral everywhere. You're not getting no type of money. You're not getting no type of recognition. Like, bro, nah, that's messed up. Fourth, after a tweet showing a Spotify page for Adriana Venti, Loving Jacks retweeted, that's me, LMAO, and brought even more mystery and laughter to what? the whole thing. With Fantasize having made waves and hit charts, big culture news Twitter accounts like Popface couldn't help but spill the tea. And y'all, this had all sorts of reactions from fans. So that's crazy. Hilarious and a very promising sign for Ariana's next album. They were excited and saw this as a fun twist in the music world. But no. Not gonna lie, not everybody, everybody was laughing. A fun twist in the music world? No! <laughs> Some fans felt it wasn't okay to share music that Ariana hadn't released yet. They nodded to how tough it was to see your work shared without your permission, and maybe this kind of fun would lead to some serious legal drama. I mean, try to imagine putting your heart and soul into a song only for it to sneak out before you were ready. Anyways, this whole situation had people buzzing about what was next for Adriana's album. Am I the only one that finds it disrespectful to do that? LOL. She didn't release it for a reason. Facts! That's awful. To have something stolen that you worked so hard on, Ari loves a build-up to new music, and she was robbed of that as well. Facts! A lawsuit. And that's exactly what happened. On September 5th, 2023, the exact same day the song started making waves on Twitter in the Philippines, the Loving Jacks account, which everyone thought was behind the Adriana Spotify page, dropped a bombshell. Y'all won't believe this, but they tweeted out saying that they were getting sued and all of their songs would be removed from Spotify soon. And guys, rightfully so. There. They also shared an email that looked pretty serious, which stated that the content mentioned had infringed on intellectual property in violation of the Spotify for Artists terms and conditions. And that's what people don't really understand. That is intellectual property, bro. Like, that's something somebody created, somebody made, bro. And it was unique to them. Like, nobody else made that. Like, bro, you took that away from them. As a result, it has been taken down. For those who don't know, Spotify has a strict rule that music must have permission before it can be used, making this a big deal. Now, here's where it got juicy. It wasn't totally clear if this email was all about the Adriana Venti artist profile or if it included some of their songs too. But one thing was for sure, this drama had everyone glued to their screens wondering what would happen next. Moving on, a tweet popped up announcing some of the songs had been taken off Spotify and get this, it quickly gathered over 5,000 likes. A follow up Dang. made it clear. Those tunes were indeed gone and guys, the Adriana Spotify profile wasn't having it and blamed Buzzing Pop, a Twitter account, for the whole mix up. Well, Buzzing Pop had tweeted about a song that shouldn't have been on Spotify yet, showing everyone what was up. This Dang. tweet on Buzzing Pop was a huge deal. It racked up more than 50,000 likes and zoomed to over 5 million views. So, some fans were really bummed out when they heard the <sighs> Thank you favorite song got pulled off the internet they simply could not believe it and thought that it was just unfair to me and in thank you again the artist who was just doing their thing and y'all they didn't sit back they showed their big support flooding adriana venti's last fm page with kind messages they're silencing an indie alternative underground artist this is not okay what are they right talking about Twitter account announced they were getting sued they tweeted that they were going to court on september 15th on september 16th 2023 loving jacks shared a tweet about their court day explaining that their experience in court on the previous day had not gone well they recounted how their tweets, the income from the songs, and other information were brought up during the proceedings. They reflected on the situation, saying that playing stupid games can lead to winning stupid prizes, indicating that as a result, they were ordered to pay $10,000 and to complete 48 hours of community service. A Dang, bro. I the crazy thing is, is y'all might be like, oh, that's not that big of a deal, but you don't know what that person did with that money. But to be fair, it's on them, bro. I feel like Bro, this could have been really, really bad, bro. But community service, definitely 
it don't hurt them to do community service. The ten thousand dollars, that's gonna hurt, bro. That's gonna hurt. I hope you did something good with the money. I hope you saved some of the money. I don't know how much money you made, but if you made a lot of money and you didn't like mess around with it, then I'm sure this won't hurt you too, too, too bad. Hey, you heard that right. Hello, as you all know, I went to court yesterday. It did not go very well. They pulled up my tweets, the money I made from the songs and other information. But as they say, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, I have to pay them 10K and I have to serve 48 plus hours of CS. This news sparked a reaction from the fans. Some suggested that people should chip in for the fine. Some fans argued that because many of them enjoyed the song, they should all share the situation together. However, it's no. not clear if Loving Jax really went to court or if the $10,000 fine is a fact. Here's the craziest bit. Even after Adriana got caught sharing songs that weren't hers on a Spotify, a bunch of fans still cheered her on. They started calling themselves Adriana Tours, which is kind of funny because it sounds a lot like Ariana Grande's fan name, but it's totally different. Adriana Bro. NT, even though she was doing something a bit naughty by sharing music that wasn't supposed to be out there, ended up getting a lot of love on Stan Twitter. Fans were all over her unreleased songs, playing them like they were official hits. But does this make you wonder, is it cool to listen to music that's been leaked? Before the no. big Adriana Venti drama, Ariana Grande opened up about how some of her music had been leaked. In a video on April 17th, 2023, she mentioned uh -oh. that her audience had heard every bad song and bull demo that she has ever made, calling it hilarious. She acknowledged the impossibility of keeping things from her fans, noting that one must take some swings and misses. And when someone asked her about any secrets, Ariana responded by saying that she was all out of secrets, lamenting that her fans yeah. had stolen all of her unreleased music and described it as horrible. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, that is horrible, bro. Like, imagine you got some songs that you don't necessarily like, you don't feel like they are ready, bro. And people violate you and just give them anyway, bro. Like, obviously, that particular song, people felt like that was a hit. But, bro, you don't know how, like, bro, you don't know the behind the scenes, bro. That's not for y'all to decide, bro. Like, that's not y'all's property. That's not, like, bro, that's disrespectful, bro. No secrets. I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music. It's horrible. You know where I am. You know what I'm doing. You know all of it. You know everything that's going on. You know everything that's going on. Yeah. There's no secrets. There's no secrets with you and I. Now, even that though sucks, the songs bro. got leaked, everyone absolutely loved one called Fantasize. It turned out to be super popular, which means it wasn't a flop after all, but Ariana made an important part that we weren't supposed to know about Fantasize. She explained that sharing someone's music without asking is wrong. Not just because it's illegal, but it's also not nice. She also yeah. mentioned that Fantasize wasn't really meant for her, it was written for someone else's project, and she was only supposed to get a shout out in the credits. So, Despite being hit with a hefty 10k fine, it seemed like the song Fantasize kept popping up on Spotify. Y'all, people were still trying to ride the wave of Adriana's fame by sharing this track. That's then, messed some up. Twitter folks noticed in mid-September that even radio stations had been playing this mysterious song. No so, way. You might be thinking, why does this matter? Well, after the fine, it was supposed to stop fans from making up artists to share their favorite unreleased songs, and it looks like it did the opposite. Basically, the whole Adriana Venti situation might have just kicked off a new trend on Stan Twitter. For those who don't know, this could mean we're seeing just the start of fans getting super creative to share music they love. I'd love to hear your opinions on this, loves. How do you see the future of music leaks and fan power shaping up after this? It's obviously one of the worst things that could happen to an artist, but it looks like the fans have a divided opinion opinion on this. No. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more stories that will keep you hooked. Bro, how do y'all feel about this in the comment section below? I feel like this is very, very messy. It's very, very wrong. Y'all, like, that should not even be a thing. Like, saying that the fans enjoy it, bro, y'all cannot be like the people who oppress us over here in the United States and just take what you want just because you can. Like, that is weird, bro. I hate that mentality, bro. Like, that's aggravating. Just taking stuff because you can. Like, you don't care about nobody else, bro. It's so selfish. I hate the selfish culture, bro. Like, we got to stop it, bro. How y'all felt about this? Let me know down in the comment section. And do y'all want me to do more videos like this, bro? I love, like, just sitting back, relaxing, listening, and hearing these types of videos. They always so interesting because I didn't even know about this type of stuff until, you know, it was made... Uh, until the person made the video. If y'all want to go subscribe to this channel, go check them out. Anna, oop, um, 
definitely a vibe. I love this video. Very informal, and I love your storytelling a lot. Um, we definitely might have to check out some of the, some more of these, bro. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, bro. I'm out. Before y'all get out of here, make sure you follow me on social media. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, I'm out. Like I say, go check her out. Go check her out, bro. <laughs> I'm out.